spend a day on my PC with me. It's around 12 p.m. and I just had lunch, and one of the first things I do when I open up my PC is to check my email. Getting into the habit of checking your email every day is very important to me as a content creator because I don't want to miss out on any opportunities or incoming sponsors. I also take this time to reply to any current work and go through any previous emails. Today, we're going to be unboxing a monitor that was sent to me. Since we're going to be unboxing, I need to clear out my desk and make sure it looks good for the video. I tend to do this a lot because this is my only working desk, so I always have to clean up and move things around. This is the U-Perfect 17.3 inch 144Hz portable gaming monitor. They kindly sent this over for me to unbox and review and I'm super excited to share this product with you. If you're looking for a portable monitor to bring anywhere and game anywhere, this is perfect. It comes with a power adapter two Type-C to Type-C connectors, and an HDMI to HDMI connector. It also comes with a magnetic cover, which lets you stand the monitor. U-Perfect says to fold this part of the cover to make sure your monitor doesn't slide. If you're not into that, it is also VESA mount compatible. I love that this portable monitor has that feature as I love the look of floating monitors. You can also power this directly Type-C to Type-C if it's compatible with your setup, but if not, it comes with a Type-C input power connector and that's what I did. It has several ports for whatever you may need to connect. This is the manual it comes with. It tells you the multiple ways on how to set it up and the instructions are pretty simple. It's fairly easy to set up. The only thing for me was that the wires stick out on the sides, but it's something I could overlook. As for the gaming aspect, it has a refresh rate of 144, making your gameplay look smooth and keeping you a step ahead of your opponents. As a gamer and a streamer, a high refresh rate is a must for me and I'm so glad Uperfect was able to come up with a portable product for gamers on the go. But if you don't want to invest in a VESA mount, you can easily prop this up on any iPad stand and it works just as fine because of its thin design. My cable management is pretty bad right now as I'm currently moving out, but I'll definitely fix it out once I move into my new place. This monitor also has pretty loud speakers for its size if ever you wanted to watch a show or play some music. It also has UCare technology which reduces blue light by 80% and a flicker free design for those who easily get eye fatigue. The resolution of the monitor is 1920 by 1080 and it's 1080 with HDR, 
making the details clear even more so with its 100% sRGB that makes the colors realistic. Overall, I love how minimalist this product is and I'm so glad I have this in my setup. I'm still getting around to setting it up with my main setup, but I know it will definitely be a staple. So if you're looking for a gaming monitor that's portable and easy to carry around, make sure to check out their product on their site. I also have code for $40 off your purchase above $300. You can type Crayo40 at checkout to avail it. If I miss anything you'd like to know about the product, all the information is also on youperfectmonitor.com. Check the links in the description to find out more. I'm fixing up my setup and going back to my two monitors. I still have yet to figure out how I want to lay it out with my third monitor but I'll definitely work on that when I move out. Usually I game for about two to three hours if I'm not streaming and I tend to get tired easily. So screen breaks are very important. During my screen breaks, I like to turn off my PC and I'm usually still on my desk, but I like to do other things like read a book light up a candle, or have a nice drink. Screen breaks to me are important because my work is always in front of a screen and I don't want to get burnt out every day doing the same thing. So taking a break from it, even if it's just for 5 to 10 minutes, helps me a lot. After my screen break, I'm ready to play again. If you're a fan of beauty and virtual social platforms, I definitely recommend this game. Decentraland is a global metaverse platform game where users enter the world to meet up, play games, attend live events, trade in the marketplace, engage with brands, and visit a lot of galleries, and so much more. At the start of the game, you can already receive an NFT mode. Welcome to a more specific new space in the game that showcases products from Innisfree, Suosu, and Laniche. It's definitely a space to experience a more specific vision of new beauty with global users. I noticed I even had the green tea seed serum. Kind of looks like the real size. The entire pop-out store was very centered towards the brand, and you can even interact with everything. I decided to explore around, go to the second floor, and check out the different brands that they were showcasing. And I love that they included links to it, and it leads directly to where you can purchase it for yourself. All the items also have a brief description, letting you know what kind of product you're getting and if it's suited for your skin type. You can also click the redirected link and see more about the product and even purchase it for yourself. The highest floor, the third floor, showcases the 12 winning entries of the beauty contest, NFTs called Colors of New Beauty, which expresses everybody's own definition of beauty. This was personally my favorite. I really love the colors and the way it looked. You 
can click and interact to read everything about it. The design of the building is inspired by its sole headquarters, designed by architect David Chipperfield. This is the new beauty land, and I loved it. It was a great experience. Thanks for having me over Pacific. If I'm not playing a game off stream, I'm probably doing it on stream for more hours, but today we're not streaming and just spending a day on the PC. After playing a few more games, I decided to do a little more work. And usually around this time, I like to edit my vlogs or edit previous videos and do a little more hands-on on my content. I do get easily distracted though, so I tend to open up streams and other YouTube videos to keep my workflow going and to not get burnt out too much. That's basically an afternoon on my PC without streaming and I hope you guys enjoyed this video.